EWSU tells us it's vital to having clean water here in the city, and it's long overdue. 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons has been digging into the numbers. She joins us live in Evansville now with the latest. Valerie? Hey Jess, well the Evansville water treatment plant right here on Waterworks Road is nearly 120 years old and officials say it's reached the end of its useful life. So the city needs a new one, but in order to pay for it, it's going to come at a cost, one straight out of customers' pockets. Today I want to talk about the need to improve our heart. Evansville water and sewer utility officials making their case to the board Tuesday, saying the city's current water treatment facility is too old to go on and it's time to build a new one. We realize we have to do this today. So as we looked at it, how do we go about this process in a way that will have as minimal an impact, realizing it's a significant change for our customers. We know that. But in order to fund the $177 million plant, it will mean an increase to monthly water bills for the next five years. And it's a possibility that has some already living on the margin a little worried. I know a lot of students are struggling with bills and with rent. Um, so it's just kind of scary where that could lead um, if less people are going to be able to afford that. But EWSU says the increase won't be too drastic. The average customer using around 5,000 gallons a month can expect to pay no more than an additional $3.47 on each bill, all adding up to a vital project. All of that system has nothing in it if that plant isn't pumping water into our system. So much like our heart takes the oxygenated blood and puts it out into our body, our water treatment plant is doing the same for our city. The only spot for a new plant would be right next door where the city garage is. The cost of relocating the building would be included in the price tag. Now, this is not to be confused with the Sunrise Pump Station project currently underway just down the road. You can voice your opinion at the next meeting on April 20th. It's one of two public hearings that will be held before the proposal will likely be sent to the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission for consideration. Reporting live in Evansville, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.